Do you need an explainer video for your website or software? Do your customers have difficulty navigating your website? Offering a tutorial can be a great way to engage and empower your customers to use your website or software properly and to its fullest. Hi, it's Josh from Wondershare Demo Creator and today I'm going to share some ideas and some tools for your explainer video for your website or software. And if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss the latest tips and tricks for video creation. The use of video is continually rising, but it can also be an intimidating medium for beginners. Thankfully, screencasts make creating videos more approachable. If you want to use more video in your presentations, training, software tutorials, product update, or even emails, screencasts are a great place to start. In this guide, I'll walk you through each step in the process. Then, once you feel comfortable on how to easily record a screencast, I'll go over some bonus tips for how you can level up your screencasts. But before we jump in head first, I think it'd be a good idea for us to talk about exactly what a screencast is and go over some ways that you can incorporate them into your everyday workflow. A screencast is a digital video recording of your computer screen that typically includes some sort of audio narration. You can think of a screencast as the video equivalent of a screenshot. You'll notice that screencasts are also called screen capture videos or screen recordings. Screencasts are great for teaching or sharing ideas and can be used for work or play. If you're looking to start using screencasting at work, try to record a webinar, create a quick how-to video or video tutorial. Best of all, these videos benefit both creators and the viewers. The creator can record a process or instruction once and without repeating themselves. The viewer also benefits because they can watch the video whenever it's most convenient for them. This is especially helpful when you create instructional videos because learning can happen in real time, right when it's needed. Now that we get the gist of what screencasts are and what they can do, Let's dive in. Now, you can follow these quick steps coming to make your first high quality screencast video for your software, website, or any other use. To get started, decide what software you're going to use to record your screen. I suggest getting a screencasting tool that also has a built-in editor. Using a screen recorder and editor together makes creating screencasts much simpler and more manageable. I highly recommend Wondershare Demo Creator because it's easy to use for both simple videos and larger projects. Plus, you can record on-screen video, import existing media, and edit all videos within the same product. And if you're new to Wondershare Demo Creator, you can download and get a seven days free trial in the description below. First and foremost, tidy up your screen if you're going to be showing it off in your recording. You might want to get rid of a distracting wallpaper and make sure to turn off any notifications. Wouldn't you hate to have your email notification chime go off right in the middle of you talking through an otherwise perfect demo recording? If your screencast is more than a few seconds long, it's a good idea to script what you're going to do on screen and what you're going to say. And now it's showtime. Time to record your screen. Do you want to record the full screen or just a region of it? Choose what part of the screen you'd like to record. After opening the Wondershare Demo Creator program, you can click the new recording button to start your screen recording new screen footage, such as your company's work system. Show how the company system and software works or something like how to claim expenses. Then a pop-up window will appear. By default, Demo Creator will record a middle-sized screen. To customize your recording area, you just need to drag the border to adjust the size of the region. In this way, you will be able to make precise adjustments to your region size. In order to keep a high quality recording, you can go to the setting tab and choose a 120 FPS recording. What's more, you can connect with a webcam and microphone to ensure better quality. It's a good idea to do a quick sample recording to test the audio in your video. First, make sure the audio device is on and connected. If you find that you have low volume, drag the audio slider to increase the audio level. Most importantly, please enable the screen recording tool in this way. You can annotate your screen recording, which is pretty useful. After that, you can go to your system screen and click the red round recording button to start recording. Then you can use the screen drawing tool in Demo Creator to annotate your code and show exactly what your code does and how it does it. So no one's left guessing where it surfaces. During recording, on a Mac, you can click Shift Command 2 to stop recording, or click Option Command 2 to pause or resume. On Windows PC, you can hit F10 to stop recording, or hit F1 to pause and resume. 
and after the recording is finished, the screen and the audio will be presented directly in the Demo Creator Video Editor. And you can edit it as you like, such as adding some captions or annotations. Then you can export to share it. It's super easy to use. Okay, so that was a detailed guide about how to make a screencast tutorial for your website or software in Wondershare Demo Creator. And up next, here are three quick ways to level up your screencasts. If you're feeling comfortable with a quick screencast, it may be time for you to step up your screencasting game. Adding some personal touches to your screencasts can make them stand out and give them a truly personal touch. Number one, record your webcam. Adding webcam video can help add personality to your screencasts and increase engagement. Before recording your webcam footage, decide if you want it to appear at the beginning of your video or if you want it to appear over the top of your video like picture in picture. To record a webcam, click the drop down and select the camera device. Then choose your audio recording options. Number two, narrate your screencast and add some background music. It's pretty easy to demonstrate an on-screen process with a screencast, but you can make instruction even more clear by talking through the process as you show it. The audio quality in your video is even more important than the screen content. Make sure that you have a good voiceover recording to provide the best instructions. You can also add some music to your screencast to set the mood of your video. Just make sure it's not too loud if you're also narrating on-screen activity. Number three, add your own media. Screenshots, images, videos, etc. Want to add more clarity to your screencast? It's easy to add screenshots, your own images, or different video footage. Screencasting makes it easy to dip your toe into video. It's a great tool for anyone that wants to communicate clearly by showing and not only telling. Okay, so here are all the video ideas for your better screencast video. If you found this video useful, do click the like button and leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time.